Secure Network Devices. Build this topology. Uh, PC switch 2960 2960 and router R1 and will be a 4321 router and connect from gigabit 001 on router to switch S1 of FASATA Note 5 and from FASATA Note 6 to PCA this is PCA this is S1 and this is router R1 the addressing table Router gigabit 001 182 subnet mask 255 255 255 0 uh, switch S1 on VLAN 1 182 161 11 255 255 255 0 the fault gateway 1 and PCA IP address 3 subnet mask and the fault it is recommended that all network devices be configured with at least a minimum set of best practice security commands. This includes uh, user devices, servers, and network devices, such as routers and switches. Required resources on real lab, one router 4221, one switch 2960, one PC, console cables, Ethernet cables. Configure basic device settings. Set up the network topology, already, cable the network, ready, initialize and reload the router and switch. Okay, on real lab you need to erase the contents of the router and switch. Okay, on R1, on R uh, you erase the startup config, on S1, erase startup config and delete VLAN database. Configure the router and switch. Console into the device and enable privilege exec mode. Okay, use a console cable from PCA for example uh, from port RS232 to port console port on R1 and go to PCA. desktop terminal okay enter would you like to enter initial configuration dialog no no enter enter your user exec mode go to privilege exec mode with enable command enable enter now you are on privilege exec mode device name okay r1 but you need to go to global configuration mode using the configure terminal command. Once you are on global configuration mode, hostname R1. Disable DNS lookup. No IP domain lookup. Enter. Okay. Disable DNS lookup to prevent the router from attempting to translate incorrectly entered commands as though they were host names. Assign class as the privilege exec encrypted password. Okay. Enable secret class. Assign Cisco as the console password and enable login. Line console zero. You are online configuration mode and password Cisco. And don't forget to use the login command to enable the that password. Assign Cisco as the BTY password and enable login. Okay, line console BTY, virtual terminal line BTY, 
0 to 15, password Cisco, login. Okay. Create a banner and warns anyone accessing the device that una unauthorized access is prohibited. Okay, you are online configuration mode, exit. Now you are on global configuration mode and set the banner. Banner message of the day. And the message on authorized access is prohibited. You can use any message on authorized an authorized access is prohibited. And configure and activate the gigabit 001 interface on the router. Okay, go to addressing table and this is the IP address on gigabit 001. Interface gigabit 001. You are on interface configuration mode and set the IP address 192.168.11 subnet mask 255.255.255.0 subnet mask and enable the interface with no shutdown command. Very good. And configure the default switch virtual interface on the switch okay um i am configuring the router now so save the running configuration to the startup configuration file okay to do this uh, go to from interface configuration mode go to privilege exit mode with end command and now you are on privilege exit mode and save the changes using copy running config to start off config enter enter very good and don't forget to configure the switch okay change the console to the switch console go to pca close terminal open again terminal okay enter enable and configure terminal Host name as well. Um, no IP domain lookup. Okay. Host name, no IP domain lookup. Privilege exec encrypted password. Enable secret class. Console and BTY passwords. Line console zero password Cisco login line BTY zero to fifteen password Cisco login exit banner banner message of the day unauthorized access is prohibited and uh, use this uh, default SBI on the switch with the IP address and subnet mask use this switch on VLAN 1 okay. interface okay you are on global configuration mode with access interface VLAN 1 okay VLAN 1 interface VLAN 1 enter you are on interface configuration mode and set the IP address. IP address 192.168.1.11.255.255.255.0. Okay, and enable the interface with no shutdown command. Exit from interface configuration mode to global configuration mode, and here set the default gateway. The default gateway is this 192.168.1.1. IP default. Gateway when I do a sixty eight one one. Save the running configuration to the startup configuration. Okay, go from global configuration mode with exit command to privilege exit mode. Copy running config to startup config. Enter, enter, enter. Very good. Configure PCA 
IP address of that mask default gateway. Okay, PCA. Okay, is this uh, close the terminal? Go to IP configuration 192.168.13, subnet mask 24, default gateway 182.168.11. Very good. Close this. Verify network connectivity. Pin hard one and S1 from PCA. Okay, go to PCA. Uh, command prompt ping uh, R1 R1 IP address is 192.168.11 192.168.11 enter success uh, switch 1 11 11 enter success Configure basic security measures on the router. Configure security measures. Change the console to the router because you will configure the router. Okay. Router. Go to PCA, close command prompt, open terminal. Okay. Enter. And configure terminal to go uh, global configuration mode and encrypt all clear text passwords this command use service password uh, encryption configure the system to require a minimum of 12 character password okay. security passwords minimum length min length 12 now set the privilege exec password to this. Okay, this strong password. Character, character Cisco, character uh, PRIB, and character. Okay, be careful. Uh, enable secret. This character Cisco, this character PRIB. And this character. Okay, very nice. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve characters. Okay, enter. Console password. Use this line console zero password. This character, Cisco, character, character, Kong, and this character. Okay, enter. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Very good. Okay, um, login command already set. BTY line password. This another strong password. Line BTY 0 to 15. And password is PTY. Uh, okay, this character Cisco character character PTY and this character. Okay, very good. I configure the router to accept only SSH connections from remote locations. Configure the username SSH admin case sensitive with an encrypted password of 55HADM character and 2020. Okay, you are online configuration mode, exit to go uh, global configuration mode and set the username. Username SSH admin case sensitive. Encrypt that password, so use the secret. This is uh, encrypted, and uh, uh, the keyword for encrypted password, uh, and the password will be this. Okay, 55HADM, this character, and 2020. Okay, case sensitive. Be careful. This is a, a strong password, and be careful. 
Wi-Fi HADM character N 2020 and the, the router's domain name ccna-lab.com IP domain-name ccna-lab.com Enter. The key modulus should be 1024 bits. Okay. Crypto key generate RSA general keys general keys modulus 1024. Okay. Enter. Very good. Okay, very good. But don't forget to accept only SSH. So access BTY lines, line BTY 0215, and accept only SSH, transport input SSH. Okay, enter. And, and don't forget to use the local username the local username configured on the router for the ssh access so use the login command Lo login local okay to use the local database to authenticate the user okay exit you are on global configuration mode Set security and best practice configurations on the console and BTY lines. Users should be disconnected after five minutes of inactivity. Okay, for example, go to line console zero. Okay. And exec timeout. Exec dash timeout. Five minutes zero seconds and go to line BTY, line BTY from zero to 15 and apply the same command, exact timeout, five minutes, zero seconds, enter. Okay, exit, and you are on global configuration mode. And the router should not allow BTY logins for two minutes if three failed logins attempts occur within one minute. Okay, logging log dash four okay uh, two minutes okay not allow bty logins for two minutes two minutes is 120 120 seconds and three failed attempts uh, attempts attempts three Uh, within one minute, within 60 seconds. Okay, this is one minute. And configure security measures. Verify that all unused ports are disabled. Router ports are disabled by default, but it is always prudent to verify that all unused ports are in administratively down state. This can be quickly checked by issuing the show IP interface brief command. Any unused port that are not in the administratively down state should be disabled using the shutdown command in interface configuration mode. Okay, on R1, you are on global configuration mode, exit and uh, enter and on privilege exit mode use show IP interface brief, enter. And gigabit zero zero and gigabit zero one. Okay, gigabit zero 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 administratively down. Gigabit zero zero one up status up protocol up. Verify that your security measures have been implemented correctly.
use Terotherm on PCA to Telnet to R1. Okay, uh, close this. Uh, remember you are on PCA. This is PCA, close the terminal. And use common prompt. Uh, try to Telnet R1. Telnet R1. R1 IP address is 182.168.11. Okay, connection closed. Or instead of using TerraTerm on real app, you can use um, close this on um, Pocket Racer. You can use this um, Telnet SSH client. Use Telnet protocol and the IP address 182.168.11. Connect. Yes. Yes. No. Okay. It's, it's not connecting. Those are one except the telnet connection. Explain. No. The connection is refused. Telnet was disabled by the transport input SSH command. Just a term on PCA to SSH to R1. Okay. On common prompt. You can use this. Uh, okay, using this uh, application on this application on Pocket Racer, click here SSH. Host name is 182.168.11. The username, remember what was the username? This SSH admin case sensitive. Okay, SSH. SSH um, connect and the password use this password okay be careful 55 H A D M this character N2020 okay be careful very good when the right access is prohibited is the banner you are on user action mode Those R1 accept the SSH connection. Yes. Okay, another way to do this. Okay, close this. No. Uh, close this. Yes. Uh, on command prompt, you can do the following uh, SSH option uh, L. Option L is not one, is L. The IP other and the username. Remember, the username is this SSH admin case sensitive. And the IP address of the server 192.168.11. The server is the router, the, the IP address of the router. Okay, and and use this password 55H A D M the character and 2020 enter. Very good. Very good. R1 prompt. Intentionally mistype the user and password information to see if login access is blocked after two attempts. Okay, exit. Try to access uh, using SSH, SSH option L, the username, SSH admin, and the IP address of the router. Enter and use any other password. One, two, three, four, five. Enter. Again, one, two, three, any other number. Enter. Okay. Uh, what happened after you failed to log in the second time? Okay. I think this should be uh, intentionally mistyped the user and password information to see if login access is blocked after three attempts. And the question should be what happened after you failed to log in the third time? Because you configure it to block for two minutes if three failed logging attempts occur within one minute. So 
you need to fail uh, three times. Okay, three failed logging attempts. So here should be uh, after three attempts. Okay. And try again, for example, SSH, option L, SSH, admin, 181.68.11. Enter. One, two, three, four, five. Fields fail. Now, closed by, closed by the host. Try again. Connection refused. Okay, what happened after you failed to log in the third time? The connection to R1 was disconnected. If you attempt to reconnect within 120 seconds, the connection will be refused. Okay, the connection was refused. Okay, try again. Connection refused. Okay, so you need to wait 120 seconds for your console session on the router issue show login command to view the login status. Okay, uh, close command prompt, go to terminal, okay. Remember you are connected to the console of the router R1. Um, Look at this um, security login. Uh, still uh, time left. Okay, the user was this SSH admin. The source was PCA 1821683. The port for SSH 22. The reason was uh, login authentication failed. Okay, and uh, uses this access list by default okay after two minutes look at this uh, minute 31 and now it's minute 33 after 120 seconds of two minutes security logging off white mode is off because block period timeout uh, this time okay very good and now you are able to log in again they close the terminal. After the 120 seconds has expired, SSH to R1 again and log in using the username and password. Okay, go to common prompt. Try again. SSH option L, SSH admin. SSH admin key sensitive and IP address 192.168.11. Enter and use the, the password 55HADM, the character N2020, enter. Very good. After you successfully logged in, what was displayed? Okay, the banner, the message of the day. Enter privilege exit mode. Use the enable command to go from user action mode to privilege action mode. Enter. And the password, remember you configured this password for this and use it. The character Cisco. The character P R I V and the character Enter. Very good. You are on privilege action mode. If you mistype this password, are you disconnected from your SSH session after three failed attempts within 60 seconds? Explain. Now, the login block for command only monitors sessions login attempts on BTY lines. Now for enable command. Show running config on privilege exit mode. Show running config. Okay, remember I'm using SSH. SSH, okay. 
you can see the configurations on the router. Okay, um, look at this, okay. Uh, username, uh, encrypted password, enable secret, uh, the encrypted password, the login block for 120 seconds, attempts three within 60 seconds. Okay, and that means block the login for 120 seconds if three failed attempts occur within 60 seconds, okay. Security passwords, minimum length of passwords, 12 characters, service password and keep encryption to encrypt all these passwords. Okay, and also these passwords encrypt all these. Console password, PTY passwords. The banner. IP configuration interface, no IP domain lookup, IP domain name, very good. Configure basic security measures on the switch. Okay. Uh, change the console to the switch. Console. Go to PCA, close command prompt and open terminal. Okay. Enter. And the password. Remember, was uh, what was the password for switch S1 is Cisco. For now, is Cisco. Okay. Uh, console password Cisco. Okay, Cisco. And enable privilege exec password class class. Okay, very good. You are on people that the password. Encrypt all clear text passwords. Okay. Configure terminal on global configuration mode. Service password dash encryption. Enter. Uh, Minimum 12 character password, security passwords, mean left 12. Okay, this command uh, is not supported by a switch on packet tracer. Okay, this command is not supported by a 2960 switch on packet tracer. But on real app, uh, will work. Uh, change passwords. Okay, change all these passwords. Privilege exit password. Enable secret. This character Cisco. This character PRIB. This character. Okay. Enter. Console password. Line console zero. Password. Use this. Cisco character character con and this character. Okay. Enter. Bty line. Line bty zero to fifteen. And password use uh, BTY. Okay, this character Cisco character character BTY and this character. Enter. Exit. Okay, you are on global configuration mode. Configure the switch to accept only SSH connections from remote locations. Okay, configure the username. Username. Case sensitive SSH admin uh, encrypted password, encrypted password, so use secret. Secret, and this is the password. And be careful. Okay. 55HAAD ADM, uh, this character, and 2020. 55HADM. 
character and 2020. Enter. The my name should be uh, ccna-lab.com. It be the the main dash name ccna-lab.com. Okay, enter. Key mod you lose should be 1024 bits. Crypto key generate RSA general keys modulus 1024 okay enter very good but uh, don't forget to apply this on bty line okay uh, line bty zero uh, line bty zero to 15 okay Remember, you are on global configuration mode, line BTY 0 to 15, enter. You are on line configuration mode and use only SSH, transport input SSH. To permit only SSH connections and use the lo uh, local database for authentication and use this username and password, login local, okay. Exit from line configuration mode to global configuration mode. Okay, best practice configuration on the console and BTY lines. Okay, line console zero. Exit time out. Five minutes, zero seconds. Okay. Users should be disconnected after five minutes of inactivity. Okay, exit time of five minutes, zero seconds. And uh, for BTY lines, line BTY zero to 15, the same command, exit time of five minutes, zero seconds. Very good. And exit from line configuration mode to global configuration mode. Now, the switch should not allow logins for two minutes if three failed login attempts occur within one minute. Okay, on global configuration mode, login block dash four, 120 seconds attempts. Uh, three attempts within 60 seconds enter okay the switch 2960 does not support this command on bucket racer with uh, real lab will work very well disable all of the unused ports Okay, and what ports are in use? Uh, five and six. So, so use interface range from one to four, from fast Ethernet seven to twenty four and gigabit. Uh, Gigabit zero one to gigabit zero two. Okay, one to four, five and six in use, seven to twenty four and gigabit zero one and zero two. Enter, shut down. Very good. Exit. Now you are on go from interface range configuration mode. We use the exit command to go global configuration mode. Verify all unused ports are disabled. Show IP interface brief. Okay. Uh, exit from global configuration mode. Exit and enter and go to privilege exit mode and use show IP interface brief space. And now you can see all ports are administratively down status. Okay. Uh, only five and six up status up protocol up okay also vlan one up but this is a virtual uh, virtual interface 
not a physical interface. Interface range command to shut down multiple interfaces at a time. Okay, this was here. Uh, okay, use interface range command. Okay. Use interface range command to shut down multiple interfaces at that time. Okay, use this and shut down multiple interfaces. Verify all active interfaces have been administratively shut down. Okay, was just verify it using the show IP interface brief command. Verify it. Verify that your security measures have been implemented correctly. Verify that Telnet has been disabled on the switch. Okay. Uh, okay, close the terminal. Open comma prompt. And enter. Okay, you are on command prompt of PCA. Command prompt of PCA and try to access using telnet. Telnet space the IP address of the switch, 192.168.1.11. Connection, uh, refuse it. Connection, close it. Okay, so telnet is not working. Uh, SSH to the switch. Okay, SSH, uh, option L, the username is uh, SSH admin case sensitive, SSH admin case sensitive, and the IP address of the switch, 192.168.1.11. Okay, uh, access from PCA, access the switch S1 using SSH. Enter, and use the password. And the password was this. Okay, five five H A D M K sensitive the character N and 2020 enter. Okay, the banner and you are on S1. Um, SSH to the switch and intentionally mistype the user and password information to see if login access is blocked. Okay. Uh, I cannot do this, okay? I cannot do this because, uh, okay, when when I, when I configure the switch, the, when I configure the switch, the, the login block for command was not accepted. So I can, uh, on Packet Tracer, I cannot uh, test this uh, procedure, okay? Because the login block for command was not accepted on switch on pocket tracer. Okay, but after 30 seconds has expired, SSH to S1 again and login using the username and password. Did the banner appear after you successfully uh, logged in? Yes, appears the banner, the message of the day. Privilege exit password, uh, enter privilege exit mode. Okay, you are on user exit mode and use the enable command to access privilege exit mode, but use as a password. And remember, this was the password. Be careful to enter character Cisco character. P R I B and character enter. Okay, very good. And you are on privilege exit mode. Show running config command. Show running dash config. Enter. Space, space, space. And you can verify, for example, BTY lines, the exit time are five minutes. Encrypted password login local only accept SSH. Line console, encrypted password login, exit time of five minutes, the banner, the interface belong IP address, the default gateway, all unused ports shut down. 
only five and six enable ports and username uh, for SSH, no IP domain lookup, the domain name, enable secret command, the host name, and service password encryption to encrypt all plain text passwords. Reflection. The password Cisco command was entered for the console and BTY lines in your basic configuration in part one. When is this password used after the best practice security measures have been applied? This password will not be used any longer, even though the password command still appears in the line sections of the running config. This command was disabled as soon as the login local command was entered for those lines. Are the pre-configured passwords shorter than 10 characters or 12 characters affected by the security passwords mean length 12 command? No, the security passwords mean length command only affects passwords that are entered after this command is issued. Any pre-existing password remain in effect. If they are changed, they will need uh, to be at least 12 characters long. Okay, thank you very much.